here, I'm going to start now adjusting, and then you can see that the, the intense distribution uh, varies, varies quite a bit. Here we are, here you can see a very complicated kind of pattern. Here's another one with two dark spots, single dark spot. <laughs> Here, if I look like a flower, no, they were, they were like little patterns. And these are all due to uh, these transverse modes. Now, what you're seeing here is a mixture of transverse modes. They're not necessarily pure ones. That means just a single transverse mode by itself. Now, here, if I misalign too much and get rid of most of them, here is our uh, lowest order mode, which uh, is uh, called the uh, zero zero mode. And here is the, the normal kind of laser beam, but in this particular laser setup, I can generate uh, all kinds of uh, other uh, intense distributions due to the, the, the other transverse modes that can be generated in this kind of... Uh, it's very pretty. Now, as I mentioned before, in most lasers, one wants to get rid of the, these uh, transverse modes so that we can only have the zero zero mode. And when we come back, we're going to show a method of eliminating the lazy of these transverse modes other than the lowest order one. We're going to do this by placing a, an aperture, a small iris, inside the laser cap. inside the laser cavity so as to get rid of all transverse modes except the lowest order one, the zero zero mode. The aperture is, is over here and we're placing it in the space between the rooster window and, and the second mirror. So here's the aperture and then by, by adjusting the snout here I can, I can then change the size of the, of the aperture. In the meantime, we also covered this uh, laser tube here with, uh, with some white paper so that uh, we don't have too much light to, uh, to burn the canvas. In case you don't see the discharge tube so well as before, it's because we've covered it up. So now, let's look at the, at the screen now and, and see, see the transverse modes without, without the, the aperture uh, uh, stopped down. Here we are. We see, we see those uh, transverse modes, or mixture of transverse modes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now reduce the, the size of the aperture, and let's see what happens. Here I am reducing it. And you can see it's going to go back a little bit. It's some other modes, and then when I stop it way down to about a millimeter or so, you can see that I have now the lowest order mode, the zero zero. Okay, let's do it again, let's build it up again. Is the transverse modes, and then I stop it down. I get rid of all transverse modes except the lowest one. In fact, now I can even adjust the mirror. I can adjust the mirror, and and indeed I can't move the spot around. But I don't get any any. Uh, so in summary, then by putting a small aperture inside the laser cavity. And choosing the diameter, we can get rid of, this, of the uh, most commercial lasers put out. Depends on the a scanning fabric grown to the frequent the frequent barometer processes. 
or the spectrum of the transverse modes of this laser. Contour of the uh, of 